YouTube, what is up everyone? It's Rich J here. I hope you guys have a great one. Um, Coach RJ, as you can say. But hello guys. Um, if you're alive tuning in to this stream, I appreciate you if you guys come in if you are. But this is going to be a setup tour, guys. Um, I'm doing a live stream setup tour here. And I'm going to show you how much tech that involves of doing live streams, um, things that I've done for over the years, that I've learned for over the years. So I'm going to show you a little cool tour real quick, guys. And, and here's what we're going to come into. So um, here we go. So when we walk in this room... This is the office here, and I'm going to open it all the way up. So this is my kind of cozy office, um, the office room. There's that. Um, that's my phone panels. This absorbs a lot of sound. That absorbs a lot of sound, and, and it kind of definitely absorbs all the echo in the, in the, in the room. Um, I have... I'll show you something else. So this is my setup room, guys. If you guys are just in you in the live stream, I appreciate it. But um, this is my wall of football stuff. Um, big football fan growing up, guys. I was always a great football fan as a kid. Um, me and my dad used to watch football all the time together. Something that we really enjoyed growing up. So... Um, being a football guy is always that. This used to be my grandpa's CB radio. Little CB thing. We used to get the weather channel on this thing. So you would actually... Um, you'd press a button. And it would have all the CB channels and stuff like that. So I don't know if it turns on still. Maybe not. It might be dead. Yeah, it might be actually dead. Yeah, it probably needs new batteries. And I'm assuming so. So that we would get all like all our weather radio and you know PD fire air, um, all that stuff, like all this on here. It shows flights, it show our weather station. All those, but it's kind of dead. It needs new batteries. Um, so that's that. I've had that since radio, since it shows Radio Shack. My grandparents had that for a long time. Um, so a um, little bit of just decoration stuff. These are just decorated giant glass stuff like that. On this wall, I'm a big Call of Duty fan. As always, I've been playing Modern Warfare Call of Duty. Uh, Modern Warfare, since it came out back in 2008, uh, I've always been a very good, huge Call of Duty fan, and and always will be as much as I possibly can. I just Call of Duty has just been a fun game for me, and I just been really, I really enjoy Call of Duty. So it's been an awesome game. Um, the competitive scene too. I'm very competitive. I love playing it. It's fun, as always. Um, this wall right here, I've been, I was, I'm a big, huge Nissan fan, um, especially GTRs. I've always loved that car, um, so I have a couple decorated things for that. Um, I've always enjoyed being a Nissan fan, and I love the. I can't know and having having a car like this is pretty good. So it's always been a fan of mine of having a Nissan GTR decorated on your wall and stuff like that so i keep them up here as a as a decorated thing um and then on this wall here on this one this right here i have a lot of my um dragon ball z stuff i'm a big huge dragon ball z fan as much as you know uh been growing up watching this show as a kid and uh i've always been enjoying that show as much as i can um as much as much as possible as growing up, I loved the show of how Goku is just a character that has, you know, he meets these people, he meets these 
friends. He builds enemies and he makes his enemies friends. And it's really cool to see um, how that... I, I don't have Goku up here. Um, as you can see, he got chewed up by my one of my dogs. So, I... Uh, I really, like, thought it would never... And in that point, he got chewed up really badly. So, I thought I was a little bit kind of... It was a little bit upsetting. So, uh, this is... Somebody did... Somebody decorated this for me. Um, this is my RJ, Richard J um, logo. Um, my Technically, it's my brand for this channel right now. Um, you can call it Coach Richard J. Uh, I might do something new with it. I don't know. I'm still branding. So I'm still creating ideas. Um, another styrofoam panel. As much as you know, this is another styrofoam panel to keep insulated sound. Uh, I got lights down here. There's my lights. Um, as you know, I'm a big, enjoyable of a tech nerd as I as I am. Um, as much as you know, this is the big, big shebang. Um, as y'all know, my PC. Um, y'all saw pictures of it um, back or back in the day that it was not like it wasn't fully finished yet. But now, when I turn on the computer, it has actual lights now on it. It's a two PC setup system here, guys. As much as you know, um, I'm running two i9-9900Ks in here. Um, plenty of processing power, one terabyte hard uh, SSDs, um, and then all that. I don't do a custom water cooling. I just do an I oh, I just do an I/O in here as much as I can. But um, this was my all oh, second build. PC. I built it the first. This is my first. This is my second build. My first build, as you know, you probably saw pictures of it. Um, I was in my old room at the time. Now, as my old room at the time, back in those days. Uh, so when I first started growing up, learning about computers and getting into it and dive deep into it. But there's there's a lot more to it, and it's really fun to kind of mess with. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, as much as I can, and you know, it's, now you can see I have the lights in here. I filled up all the fans. Last time you probably guys saw it, I never had the fans like up there. Uh, uh, and then my I'm a big PlayStation fan too as well, so I still have a PS4 Pro sitting here, and and I love Playstations. They're they're a pretty good. Uh, um, console to play and I've always enjoyed that I didn't get a PS5 this year because I think all the scalpers and all the online guys are just buying them all up and then reselling them for a th big thousand prices and stuff like that but you want to see here's Goku there's Goku right here I do have a picture of him he's in Super Saiyan mode He's a good photo. I've got that at a disc replay. Disc replay was a pretty good place to find little posters and stuff like that. So it's great for the room. And then here he goes. Here's the off, like the actual setup office. Uh, as much as you know, right here, this is my actual setup computer. This is a 4K monitor, Asus, uh, this HDR, and then I have two BenQ monitors. Uh, regular 1920 by 1080 BenQ. Um, and then this right here is my Shure SM7B uh, microphone, as many of you know. Um, this is what I use to record with. It's what I use to make my streams. And I mean, when I talk on stream and all that kind of stuff, that's what I pretty much use is basically this microphone. Um, I have another one too as well, but... Um, that's that um down here i'll show you some things down here i have a network detached storage this is a synology nas um it's a basic nas system that it's a cloud storage system pretty much it stores in the cloud um does a lot of pro online cloud stuff that i've learned to get myself into more than anything um, so that's my NAS. Uh, you probably see some controllers in here and other stuff. But now we'll move on to the desk. 
So the desk side is another story here, guys. Um, I showed you the screen monitors, but um, a lot of the desk stuff is pretty pretty simple and big. Um, like I said, I have a 4K monitor, two regular standard monitors for BenQ, and then I just got a regular standard keyboard for this one, two random standard keyboards. Um, I also have a Raspberry Pi. Everybody knows what those are. Those are pretty good devices. Uh, and then I have my Astro A40s. I'm a big, huge Astro fan. Astro has been a really good, um, um, let's say a good headset brand for many game consoles for so many years. And, and I absolutely love it. Um, and also we have, my biggest thing of all is my the big mixer here. This is the GoXLR. Um, allows you to do different changes, different channel mixing. Um, you have different channels. Um, a lot of stuff you can do on this is software based too as well. You can do software and they have a software based too as well. Um, and then I have Corsair products too. This is my Corsair mouse and keyboard. Um, all the keyboard stuff there. Um, and then I also have the Elgato Steam Deck, Stream Deck, not Steam Deck, Stream Deck 2 as well. I have it too, it's down here. And that's my Stream Deck. It's a good uh, uh, product to use. And if you're doing like different recordings, uh, you can just press a button and you're good to go. Um, and here's the other, my biggest one. This is my camera. This is what I stream like my live stream product here um i use these for um to do all my live streams this is a, a sony a6000 it's a very good quality camera it does 1080p 60 frames per second perfectly um, lens is very clean and i've got a good clean lens to it and then then i have my elgato lights as much as you can i have one light here these are key lights and you can adjust them with the programming and all that stuff online and with their app and you know kind of thing like that um and then the my astro a40 headset as normal um this is more for um, um to do you know sound quality in these headsets are pretty good i like them i like it pretty really really much and then i have a um my scuff controller, as usual, my scuff is getting pretty old. This is my uh, scuff Vantage. Pretty, con it's a pretty nice controller. Allows you to do customizations. Um, the new PS5 scuff is pretty insane. I think I'm gonna check it out when it comes out. Um, I like the PS5 scuff. It's really cool. And then also I have um, this device right here. Um, this right here is a. This device is a called an Elipal. Um, basically, it stores um, it stores like online like crypto kind of thing like that. So if you throw in cryptocurrency in there, it'll uh, um, you throw in some cryptocurrency and it has a processing where you you store your keys on an offline wallet so you don't lose your your coins. Um, it's good to have one of those like off online wallets like the Ledger, Ledger Nano, Ledger Nanos, um, all those. Um, you can have, I mean, it stores all that on an offline based system. And then also I have my Google Home, you know, thing. I have a big, huge Google Home. I've always used Google Home more than anything. Um, there's also Amazon Alexa. Uh, I don't have it, but. They, they they are known to what those devices do uh, are pretty cool so um here this right, little device right here this is an access point um so basically it's my network access point um it allows me to connect everything on my devices onto the network and i run that by my controller that i use I use a on ba online based controller that is, runs off Linux and Linux machines kind of thing and 
it just stores all the data. So I'm going to show you what my network is. Pretty interesting. This is this is what my network is right now. This is how it sits. Um, I'm going to do a more professional network probably in a later future. But right now, this is how I have it set. This is basically the UDM Pro. Uh, it's called the Dream Machine. And it, it what connects all my devices together, what, you know, has a built-in controller. Um, it does everything for you that you need for routing. It does everything for, for firewall, if you're doing firewall, different firewall um, connections. Um, it does everything that you need it to do for, you know, small to home, small businesses or small businesses that are building up kind of thing and all that. And without that product, I, I probably, I, I love it very much. So it, it does, it does its job. Um, and then I have a couple switches here. That's that switch right there. Classic ubiquity switch. And then I have another one here that goes here on this switch and then that green cable you see down there that green cable right there that is a fiber cable so i'm running 10 g's um can i convert my data to get the max out see i max out my speeds pretty well so basically when i when i pay for an internet service right i pay what i get for and this is how i do it this is how I max out the speed because sometimes um, you don't have to in order to max them out. Like the UDM special, the new the new UDM Pro that they have, it's called Special Edition. Um, they actually have a 2.5 2.5 gigabit port on the actual port on there because the way I couldn't do it that way when I bought this modem. This is a the S. 33 modem i mean when i bought it um it kind of had a 2.5 gigabit port on it so it'll go that modem will go up to 10 g's uh 10 gigabytes per second it, as much as it can it, it'll upload a lot um as a tech nerd it's a good product i really like it um and then and then basically it routes to to how I get it to max out my speeds pretty well, I have a device right behind here that this connects to here, and it goes from there to a 2.5G, and it goes to 10G here, and 10G goes to into my 10 gigabyte connector here. Um, so that's how I'm getting a lot of speeds through, uh, maxing out my speeds through that. And I think it's pretty neat. I have no issues with it. It runs really, really fast. Um, as much data as it can. But uh, honestly, it's uh, it works. And I like it. So, And this is my chair. You know, DX Racer. I've had this chair for years. It is pretty worn out. As you can see, it is new and it's worn out it's getting old and oh man it's it's having its days and then in the last part of the wall here we have a PUBG poster for PUBG's players unknown battlegrounds it's a pretty good game i like it totally enjoyed it growing up and then i have two soundproof panels here and that's pretty much it this is my office daily office guys i hope you guys uh enjoyed this video um i appreciate you guys all you guys uh subbing and um kind of showing off my office a little bit and and what i um what i enjoy doing and then here's my ps4 greatness awaits and then uh yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed some of my videos um i i post less lately guys ever since i picked up a new job now uh, um, I post really less much as I do post, but, uh, still guys, I mean, anybody want to play video games online, please let me know. I'd love to play and play some games with you guys. And, um, that's it for this live stream guys. It's a live stream tour of my office. I appreciate all of you and, um, you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day and happy Easter to everyone. Peace guys.